Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for April 8th through April 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my peaceful, loving, kind, fun Libras. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on my Libras? Let's see, Libras. What you got going on? Show me spirit, guys. Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands. The Hanged Man. Two of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, Libra. Whoever this is, I'm reading for you. <laughs> well... I'm going to tell you, the Seven of Wands is leading your reading, and the Seven of Wands is all about being on the defense mode. Being on the defense mode. You know, Libra, in the past, I see it's right next to this Knight of Wands. In the past, Libra, you have been the one that has not, has been noncommittal. You have been the one that has, you know, that, you know, no matter what, you weren't committed. You, you know, don't, you were like a leave them and love them type person. But now I see you self defending this relationship that you're in because you fell in love. You simply fell in love. You, The right one. You know, they always say when the right one comes along, you know it. Well, the right one has come along for you and you know it. And here you are. You know, people are giving you a hard time because you are the one that was loving them, love them and leave them. Seven of Wands is you're defending yourself for being in this, you know, relationship. Not so much being in the relationship. You're defending yourself because everybody knows you as a person that can go someone, someone that's noncommittal, someone that has a lot of women, possibly, or either a lot of men. It doesn't matter. Either way it goes. You are the person that everybody knows that, hey, you, you, you know, if they play with you, then at any moment in time you can be gone. But, you know, when you meet your match, you meet your match. And I think you've met your match. And when I say that met your match, you've fallen in love with someone. You know, and it's like when you know that you know that you know that's where you are right now. The hangman is in the middle of this reading. The hangman is about taking a pause. Just, it's like, whoa. It's almost like, how, what, what happened here? You have fallen in love because here's this two of cups here. This is someone that you have a deep connection, a tie to. Someone that you are intimate with. Someone that you guys can't keep your hands out for each other. Someone that it was an instant connection. And I think it was an instant connection. And people are like, just like, what? And I think you have to keep defending this. But you really shouldn't have to because it's your life. And if this is who you love, this is who you love, and this is what has happened, you've fallen in love. It, you've fallen in love with someone that, um, that, you, that you want to be with, someone that you've had an inst inst instant connection with, someone that you have an uh, intimacy with. I mean, uh, um, it's, it's, it's chemistry, just chemistry. You've fallen in love. Ace of Cups is here. And the Ace of Cups is not just about the intimate connection either. Um, it's also about, um, it's an agape love. You, you, you're in love. I don't even, you're just in love. This, it's an unconditional love. This is someone, you know, that you, you didn't see this coming. It just happened. And now everybody's like, you have to keep defending it because you've been such a different person in the past. Now, that's really interesting because I see this agape love, this God-given love, this, this, this love that you have for this person. After you've been the person that is to love them and leave them, and now you've fallen in love. Now, give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see additional information the spirit guides may want us to know. Additional information that the spirit guides may want us to know about this relationship. Show me, spirit guides, why is the seven of wands here? Show me why is the seven of wands here for my Libra. Show me why the seven of wands is here for Libra. Show me, spirit guides. 
Why is the Seven of Wands here for Libra? Sit back, relax, Libra. Let me clarify it. See what additional information the Spirit Guides want you to know. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Show me. The world. That means you've completed this. You've completed a cycle. I told you, and that cycle has been, you know, you're, you're no longer love them and leave them. You, you know, you've completed this cycle. You're moving on to a new cycle of life. You're no longer like that. You know, people, and like I said, you have to keep defending yourself because you've just been out there for, when I say out there, let, let me not say out there. you just been kind of, you know, love them and leave them. You know, you haven't been committed to anyone. And I don't know, I don't know ever. I don't know if you've ever fallen in love like this. I mean, this may be your first love. You may, you may have loved people, but this, I see this as being your first love. Your first real love. So let's see why the Knight of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Because that world card means you completed a cycle. You're on your way to a new cycle of life, of loving. A new cycle of loving. So let's see. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, King of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. You know, um, the King of Cups is, is a very a lot of emotion, but the King of Cups doesn't show their emotions. And see, over this night of wands, you have definitely been like that in the past. You have been, like I said, and I'll say it again, love them and leave them. You know, love them, hey, do what you do, but you're out. Passion, compassionate, and when I excuse me, not compassion, I'm talking about passion, being passionate, and all of that. All of that. But yet and still, you were never a complete energy. It was an on and off energy. But the King of Cups is over this energy now. And this King of Cups lets me know you have deep fallen deeply in love with someone. There's a lot of emotion here. You have fall, you have fallen deeply in love with someone. King of Cups also, you know, sometimes you don't show that emotion. Sometimes you come across as being emotionally unavailable. But you're not. You're not. You're just, I mean, you're just a little bit afraid, I think, to show that the love because you've never had this type of love. You are in love. So let's see why the hanged man is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the hanged man here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, the moon. The moon card is here. The moon card is like, you know, the moon card is that when you see it with the hanged man, and I'm going to be very honest, I just see you being crazy right now. When I say crazy, I just see you being totally Am, uh, you're asking yourself, is this, am I having on rose colored glasses? Is this an illusion? Is this just me just, how did this happen? I mean, I see you just, I mean, you, you know, th this card means these dogs are howling at the moon. It's just, you're crazy right now because you, you don't understand, you've fallen in love. You're crazy. This isn't supposed to happen to you. You know, you're the one that's supposed to be, you're the one that everybody's supposed to fall in love with you. But right now you're, you, it's just, it's just crazy. And you know, you're also stuck because you're a little bit afraid of betrayal and, you know, things that you may have done in the past. But, you know, I, this is just, you're crazy. Just right now, it's just your emotions and your mindset and everything. You're just it's trying to figure this out. You know, is, is this for real? Is, is this someone that's for real? So let's see why the Two of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Legacy, legacy, family, kids, 2.3, you know, 2.3 kids, the dogs, the grandkids, the nieces, the nephews, the aunties, the uncles. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's over the two of cups. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. So let's see why the ace of cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Show me why the ace of cups is here. Ten of cups. What can I say? Man, what a reading you've got. What an awesome reading. That is your happily ever after card. That Ten of Cups, you found the one. I mean, that's your happily ever after card. Ten of Cups means happily ever after. Look at these two cards together. This is this is your happily ever after. And then you have this over the Ace of Cups. This is, you know, just love. Just love. You're in love. You're in love. So let's start at the beginning. Here you are defending yourself because you've been the one that's love them and leave them. But you're completing a cycle with that because you have fallen in love with someone because it's Knight of Wands lets me know this is you used to be love them and leave them. Now you're defending yourself because you've fallen in love with someone. The King of Cups is here. You got a lot of emotion for this person because you're trying to hold it in, but you know it's kind of hard when you love someone. 
you it's kind of hard because you're really trying to hold it in but there's a lot of deep emotion for this person but here you are stuck right here because when you see it over the moon you're just a little bit afraid and i'll say it again because you're trying to figure out is this is this real or are they deceptive this betrayal what but you're stuck right here for a minute you're not going forward not going backwards not showing your emotions you are stuck because you're just a little bit afraid and i'll say that again but this is the real deal. You have fallen in love. You have fallen in love. And here is the two of cups. You guys have a, a chemistry, instant connection. You guys want the same things. Look at that with that ten of pentacles, legacy, family, money, 2.3 kids, dogs, cats, aunts and uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins. You are ready and you are want the, want the, this is the real deal. They want the same thing that you want. Ace of cups is there as well. Ace of Cups is there. Ace of Cups is about a God-given love, an agape love, a never-ending love, a forgiving love. And look, it's over this Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Yeah, you're about to be married. Yeah, this is your happily ever after. You, This is the one. This is the real deal. Absolutely it is. Yeah, you, you, this is the real deal. So, congratulations. So, let's see. Oracles. Show me what my oracle cards have to say. Show me what my oracle cards have to say. Show me. Show me spirit guides, oracles. Show me. Well, straight out the box, they're saying you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Oh, they, I'm, I'm pulling what they trust. Because, you know, like I told you, you, you know, you're, you're questioning yourself. But this is the real deal. It, it, this is the person. This is the person for you. Oh, and I'm going to pull this because, man, yes, yes. Stop questioning it. Yes, this is the real deal. This is a person for you. And as I told you before, a year from now, I see a wedding. A year from now, a year from now, a year from now, things are changing. I'm going to pull this 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 a uh, couple of cards here because these cards to me really, really I just think success, success, success. And I just strongly believe no need to worry about this. This is the real deal. I can't even pull in any more cards just to solidify just exactly, you know, and it says big, happy changes and meditation brings answers, you know, big, happy changes, big, happy changes. Congratulations. And prayer works. When I see meditation brings answers, that is prayer works. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.